In today's video, I want to show you guys on how to make a Google Slides presentation look good and professional from scratch on your mobile device. I know a good amount of people don't have access to desktop and they only have a mobile phone and I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S21. So I'm on an Android, but I figured that it wouldn't be too different from an Apple device. So I'm going to make three different slides here. So as you can see, it already generated the title slide. I'm just going to add a different, I'm just going to add blank slides here on the bottom again for example i just want to make a presentation slide on computer science so with that being said i'm going to go to my google chrome here and as you guys already know pexels.com is where i usually get my images my high quality images i'm going to type in computer science right with this i'm just going to pick you know something completely random like this for example and i'm just going to copy this image i'm going to hold it hit copy image could be different in ios but I hop back onto my Google Slides application, tap on the back right here on the back background, and I'm just gonna hit paste. And as you can see, once I hit paste, it literally just pastes the image. So I'm just gonna you know scale this higher and make it fit the slide here. I'm just I just like to crop the photo to that white right there. So now I could just kind of tell like the actual size of my presentation. I'm gonna hit correct here or hit the check mark and boom, there you go. So now I have a full screen image on my presentation and on the bottom, this adjustments bot uh, button, I could actually adjust the transparency, the brightness, the contrast. And I like to, again, like I said, I like to dim down the brightness a little bit and I'm going to add a text, right? I want to make this my title. So it's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of hard to see what I just wrote, but I wrote this text. And if I select that text right here, I could actually change the font color to probably white just so I could you know, uh, see it for the time being. And if we select this text right here, we could actually go over here on the top with this A button and that actually changes the font properties, right? So I could actually change this to about maybe 36 point slide, 36 point font here, maybe change the font a little bit. Um, like I said, I do like this font called Poppins, um, but today let's just do like Roboto or something, or we could do Montserrat, right? A very nice font. I'm gonna change the size of the text box just because I don't need you know that big of a text box. A little bit higher to maybe 40, maybe 50, right? Maybe 50 is great. And I'm gonna shrink down this text that says why choose a little bit. So why choose computer science? And I kind of want to just bold computer science and just make it like yellow, like a nice yellow color. Um, it should look good like this. So why choose computer science, right? So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna insert a, perhaps a shape, right? I wanna just make a rectangle here and I'm gonna just tilt it maybe about 20 degrees here. Drag this rectangle down, right? So that way I could actually have it from the edge all the way to this edge as well. Actually, I'm gonna change the, the, the angle to maybe about 15 instead. Create a new text right here. Create a new text. And I'm going to put it, like I said, on the bottom and I'm gonna just type in and I'm gonna drag this text all the way back down here. So I'm gonna grab this, drag it down. There's probably a typo because I typed it without seeing, but, and I'm gonna just bold this right here. The highest potential salary, just bold it and maybe underline it as well. And actually, you know what? Maybe I could actually move this up. So I'm using the bottom here as a guide to see like where my text is. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to this font and change it back to the one that I was using, which is Montserrat, and this one right here. And then I'm gonna add a text with my name. Now I'm gonna bring this text down here and write by Jeremy L, which is obviously my name as you, can, as you guys could tell. So I'm gonna hit bold here. All right, perfect. So there you go. So why choose computer science, the major with the highest potential salary by me, right? Again, going back to my Google Chrome, go to flaticon.com, which is where I get a lot of my icons. Let's see. And I'm just gonna type in coding, for example. So it could be this one, for example. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. I'm just gonna pick this one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna hit download this. So I'm just gonna free download. And as you can see, it is essentially downloading file over here. And I can actually add that image right now from my photo and I'm going to scale this down again. I'm going to move this icon right here underneath. Yeah, it looks great to me. I mean, I I, I like this uh, introduction slide. It's pretty nice, straight to, straight forward to the point. So now let's move on to the second slide, right? Paste it again. So again, hit the background, hit paste and just scale that photo a little higher. And then what I'm gonna do is again, you could crop this with this button on the bottom. Just try to align it with that white background like so, hit the check mark, change the brightness because I don't want it to be too bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a shape and I'm gonna do a kind of like a rounded rectangle shape here. And we can just make it a little bit like so. Now what I wanna add also is just, you know, for the design of it, I'm gonna add a circle here. 
and I'm, I want to try to size this proportionally, but I believe it's kind of hard. So I'm just going to eyeball the circle, okay? This is not going to be the best circle ever, but I'm going to change the stroke to zero. And I'm going to change the color of this to... Let's make it yellow. Let's make a yellow circle, like a dark, like a, like a gold circle. So we're going to move that here, and we're going to center that with our rectangle, right? Why not? So if I click over here and hit this, right, I can go over here and go to shape. And I can do a drop shadow. So we could just apply drop shadow, transparency. You can see the transparency at angle. I'm just gonna put the angle at zero and the distance at zero. You can play around with the transparency. I'm just gonna go with 25% here. And that looks pretty great to me. Same with this one. I'm going to do a drop shadow as well. So I'm gonna go to shape here, go down, drop shadow, apply drop shadow, change the angle to zero. And again, transparency, go at about 25 here. So I'm gonna hit it here. I'm gonna hit text. And again, the text, you can play around with it. I'm just gonna make this um, competitive salary. Okay, now with this text right here, I'm going to change the font size again. It's gonna be a lot of font size changing. And I'm gonna go down to, again, the font of Montserrat. And you know what? Maybe we'll just bold this and underline this, right? Because this is gonna be one of the titles that I'm gonna use. And I can actually resize this to about that size. Move this inside this thing. And then boom, bring this center button and perfect. So now we have this um, text here that is center align this and hit copy and you could paste it again in the background paste and you could just change this to whatever it is. So I'm going to go over here, lower the font down a little bit. Perfect. And now I want to highlight this 120K, you know, it's like it's part of that wow factor like dang 120k that's crazy now i want to add an icon i want to add a cash icon because we're talking about salary right why not insert image you can see the logo is here you just want to rescale this and put it in the circle right this is not centered i don't know why they think this is centered perfect okay so in order to do that i just want to click and drag to select the whole element right but i don't want this background in the way so i'm just going to move this real quick to over here and I'm just going to go over here and, like I said, click and drag the whole thing. I'm going to hit copy on the top. So now it's copied to clipboard. We can move this guy back. And now I'm going to, I can start pasting this, right? I can start pasting this to go over here. I should be lined up with the other one and line it up over here again on the right. And it's great how Google Slides have that the thing that measures the distance. Click and drag. And also make sure that this is all centered. So the guidelines really do help a lot in terms of centering this and making this in the middle. Drag this back in the background and perfect. Look at that. All right, awesome. So here you go. I just changed up the three little elements to just things I made up on the spots. I just made this and boom, perfect, right? There you go. So now, and for the last slide, maybe I just wanna outline like the different fields of computer science, like AI, game development, whatever it is. So. And for doing so, I'm gonna just make it into four different pictures. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to start cropping this into about like half of this slide, kind of like this, and make it like so. Again, this is just, I'm just eyeballing everything. Okay? I wanna keep my images consistent size, right? So I wanna try to make it consistent. By doing so, I'm gonna just hit the crop button here and make it so I can crop it to the same as this image. So now I have two different photos. So now you can see that these are actually cropped pretty well. Eyeballing the distance again, which is kind of bad, but perfect. Hit paste here on my photo. And this is a photo of just a bunch of servers. I'm gonna go plop this onto an image for a reference cropping and resize this. So it's the same size as all of them combined. Perfect. So now I'm gonna move this here. It should, it should easily snap like so. And now the best thing about it is I can just drag this and grab these four images and perfectly align them in the middle. So now what I want to do here is I want to hit insert here. I want to hit insert shape and I could probably get away with using the same color text that I used and putting this in here and let, and I could actually type in this um, box right here and type in artificial intelligence here with this box, change the stroke of the box. So I could actually change the color of this box, right? to that gold that I was that we used earlier again here click this a right here and you can change the shape so I don't want a border so I don't want a transparent border go back here change the font size a little bit and also change the font as well to the one that I've been using which is Montserrat and actually a change of thought I'm going to make it 
go on the left. I'm gonna copy this, paste it, and put it down where the PlayStation controller is, and change the text to surprisingly, not surprised, game and development here. So change that. So now I have these four different aspects of computer science. And now I'm gonna add a circle in the middle, believe it or not, circle, and perfectly right in the middle, look at that. So now I just have this circle right here. I'm gonna copy the circle, right? Because why not? We'll have two circles, paste the circle, make the second circle a little bit smaller, just a little bit smaller, tad bit. And change this color back to that gold that I was, that we, you know, keep using, right? So I can go over here, apply drop shadow, transparency, let's do like, I need 25%. And now I just want to add a text and I want to make it say fields of computer science. There you go. Perfect to back to Montserrat. So I'm going to change the font size a little smaller Font size of this one. So it's again, not the main focus and change this down to maybe 11. So there you go. So there you go. So now I have different fields of computer science and I have all these four images here on the background. And since it's a nice high quality photo, I can just plop this here and click this and hit send to back. Again, same thing with that crop. Just try to crop this image to that slide. And now I'm just gonna go over here, change the transparency a little bit to about maybe, maybe 75%, right? Why not? So perfect, we have our slides, so we have why choose computer science, which is our title slide. Then we have the why choose computer science, which is the different, you know, text that I've had and along with the little icons. And on the bottom, I have the different fields of computer science, which shows and highlights four different fields of computer science that you can dive into. And that is just a brief tutorial on how to design a professional and good looking Google Slides presentation on your mobile device. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.